Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Garrig and today from Crafters Companion I have two really excellent adhesive rub-on foil kits. You guys, this is Shine Like a Star and it's got all of the silver, gold, um, rose gold, copper colors. And then we've got Make-A-Wish, which has got purple and blue and green and very vibrant. And you guys, they make cards like this one. Look at all the Sparkle. This is our giveaway card for this episode. So if you stick around, I'll tell you how one lucky viewer could win this card to keep or share with a friend. So come play with us. All right, let's take a look at what you get in the Shine Like a Star. So you've got two of each of these. These are adhesive sheets. So they have this little gray printing on them. And when you separate this acetate, the little gray side, this is tacky on this side. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take your little scissors and you want to cut them out, which I'll show you how to do. You're going to cut them out and then apply them. Don't try to do this where you just take it and then put your paper in like that and rub it on. Oh, that's a mistake. I tried that last night and it was not successful. <laughs> All right, so then let's zoom out a little bit. And so then this one right here, we've got another two sheets with all of these great sayings and flowers. They're amazing. Got flowers and like this one I was showing you has large and then small butterflies, lots of corner things, lots of little borders. And you're getting two of each of these. I do love that there's lots of greetings on here. And then you have some here that are just really fancy, little little for different occasions, anniversaries and birthdays and things like that. Love it. Lots of botanicals, lots of like little architectural elements, sort of a baroque look, you know, gilded, that kind of thing. Beautiful. And then this one, these have got little star sort of uh, things I was showing you at the beginning on my card, I used a lot of those. And then these as well, just amazing. So let's take a look at the foil. Now the foil you have to be very careful with, and here's why. The shiny side is not gonna transfer, but this side does. So if you like ran your finger on it like this, then it could stick. The other thing is, is that these come in a package like this to protect them. And it's got this self-adhesive little thing here. And when you are pulling them out of the package, okay, you have to be really careful. In fact, I would just recommend tucking this back because you don't want this to get stuck to the adhesive at all. All right, maybe even just cut it off and then take them out. That would be that would be better. Because you wanna keep these things really pristine. Once they're out of the package and they're sitting around, you're fine, okay? But you don't wanna like scrape them or things like that. Just be careful with them. All right, so let's take a look at this one. And I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. So here's the one I cut out, all right? And then I'm going to put this on some cardstock. I had two colors of cardstock. I really wanted to keep on sort of this bohemian vibe where it's got the tan and this sort of blushy colored pink that's just very popular with bohemian. So I wanted to do that, but this came from Newsprint Florals cardstock. It was these two colors right here, okay? And as you can see, I used it on both the tan and the pink color. So let's go ahead and use this one on the pink, just for fun. All right, because some of them I put down just right along the edge, and then some of them I cut out, and then I used foam tape under them. So this one was one that I put along the edge, but I do want to show you how easy it is to cut them out. All right, so we're going to do this. And I just burnished them by using my finger. I didn't have to use any kind of a tool or anything. Just like this. They transfer really nicely. Just like that. They can't come right off. Oops. <laughs> We're also getting a little, little uh, dandelion on there. All right. And then you want to take one of the colors. So I'm going to use the gold that I used. We've got your sheet of gold. And what I did actually, I should have shown you before, is before transferring this where I cut it out, then I just sort of I guesstimated by putting that cut out on the foil so I knew how much foil to cut off. 
you're gonna take your foil sheet and you're gonna cut that as well. Now I'm recommending you do that because you wanna use foil that's, that's really like pristine and I'm gonna show you why. All right, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this right over that and then when you just burnish that with your finger, whoops, okay, hold on to it so it doesn't do what it just did with me. Okay, we're gonna do that and then we're just gonna peel that back. All right, and then you see right here where I've got a kind of a little like a blob there where it used too much foil. Okay, you can just take your finger and just rub it and it'll just burnish any ex excess that's stuck on there. It'll just burnish that away. So it's really easy just to transfer, just like that. See, now it's gone. There we go. All right, now let me show you something else. Let me grab another one. I want to make sure I'm getting these from the right kit. Okay, hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to grab another sheet out of my kit here. What I did find was something that made it a little bit tricky, and I wanna pass on this tip to you so that you can um, learn from my little error. So let's take this one right here. Actually, we're gonna take this big floral one. So what I thought was, before I read the instructions and everything, do you ever do that where you're just like, oh, I know how to use this, and then I'm just gonna go for it. All right, so then, I just took this and I transferred that. I thought I could just go ahead and use the same bit of foil and then I could take and reuse this portion of it. But I could just stick that and why, why, you know, I don't want to waste all that part that didn't get stuck. And I just thought I could do that because I've done that with different foils before, no problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and peel this. Didn't burnish this one quite enough. Okay, so you're peeling, 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 making sure nothing's sticking, just like a normal rub on. There we go. All right, so now let's take a look at what happens when I try to reuse the same part. Some of it's unused, some of it's used. Okay. Oops, come on. Now what's happening is it's not letting go, and this is why. The adhesive is sticking to the parts on the foil that have already lost their foil. So it's sticking to the clear backing. Oh, okay, well that makes sense because it doesn't have the foil to stick on. So this one became very troublesome. Okay, that didn't work out so great where if I had taken a nice clean piece and put it down, it wouldn't have done that. So that's just a little troubleshooting for you there. Use a nice clean piece. Now, you're not gonna waste all these pieces right over here because you can take that and you can use that on all the little bits, no problem. But when you're doing these larger pieces, you wanna make sure that you just Use, don't use, try to use these pits that have already been used, okay? Just learn from my mistake. Because I, I ruined a couple images last night when I was working with that. So I definitely want to point that out for you. Um, you still get, you get a lot of these sheets. You're getting four colors in each kit and you're getting three of each of these sheets. So you're getting lots and then you're getting tons of images. So you have plenty of foil. But of course, you know, we're crafters. We're trying to use every little bit of it. Some bits are used <laughs> and move on because then it's gonna wreck your image, okay? So save those little used sheets and come back to those and then you'll be able to use them on smaller bits. That's my tip. All right, so that's how you're basically doing the transferring. It's very, very simple. And then to cut it out, you guys, which is what I did with the larger whole pieces, took my little scissors. First of all, let's cut it smaller. We don't need to have this whole sheet. Um, and I just went right along the edge, just like this. And you'll notice that I'm turning the paper 
and not the scissors. Scissors are staying same spot. And I'm just sort of turning it around like that. And I just cut the whole thing. And then I used my giant roll of foam tape, this one right here, and I put that on these little bits. And I wanted to have different sizes just to give some little, um, you know, a little mix of sizes there. I thought that was nice. And then I used our little rainbow flat back pearls. And there's so many colors in here. And I used just like a regular pearl. And I also used the gold ones on here. I thought that looked really nice. And then we've got these little straight pieces right here. And those, you guys, are coming from, let me see if I can find them, from these adhesive sheets. And what I did with those, here we go. I cut these out right here, but I ended up only using one of the ends right here, if you can see right there. So I would just cut that off, cut these out, and then I would have them kind of extend from the edge of the card over, and then here, here, and here. Just a little decorative element, all right? Let's take a look at another one that I made. All right, so this is our giveaway card. Jeanette just reminded me, <laughs> she said, stop. So this is our giveaway card and how that works is we are trying to get more followers over on our Paper Wishes YouTube channel. So if you're watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode channel, um, just click on the screen and you'll look down below and there's a little YouTube icon right about there. You click on that and it'll take you over to the YouTube page or just go onto YouTube and search Paper Wishes. And then all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe on this video leave a comment and then we're gonna wait about a week and we're gonna pick somebody's comment, we're gonna reply to it and we're gonna say, hey, users XYZ, whatever your username is, you're the winner. Please contact Debbie at Customer Service and we give you the link for our customer service. It's up to you to check back and see if you have won, okay? We also leave another comment on our Paper Wishes community uh, tab. So there's two chances that we are reminding you to come and claim your card. Um, the best way to get those notifications is, is to click that notification bell on the YouTube channel right at the top right corner so that you know when you get a message from us. That's really important. All right, so that is our giveaway. We'll send that to you. All right, so here is another card. This one I used the silver and I put it on acetate, you guys. So I use newsprint florals solid cardstock, and this one I use newsprint florals, um, the patterned paper, gorgeous. And I use this one right here on the front. I use the bottom part of the paper right there on my five by six and a half inch card. And then you guys, I used our oval cutting dies. I use this one right here, and I use this die. And once I covered my card with the paper, all right, so pretend this is covered with paper, I took my die and I put it right there. Okay, and then I just took some scrap cardstock and I put it right over it. And then, oops, and this is because I'm using a die cutting machine with a nine inch wide platform like the Big Shot. And then went like this. And then I turned it and I ran it through my die cutting machine. All right, so then when I took this all off, that little scrap that's on top gets an imprint on it, and then your card has a nice little oval cut in it. The back of the card does get a little bit of an imprint right there, but you could just cover the inside with paper or use that oval that you cut out like I did and just put it right there. So there you go. There's a little tip for making this work if you have a six inch wide platform. All right, so for the acetate, you guys, you can buy the acetate by the sheet, and I'll leave a link for that down below. And what I did was I used um, a cutting die that was just slightly larger than the oval that I used to make this little scallop window. And then I just rub, used the rub-ons, and they just worked so nicely with the acetate. So let's cut one of these out. Let me show you. We'll use this one right here. All right, and then that's gonna go right on the acetate. And you're just going to burnish it 
with your fingers just like you did with the paper. There we go. And then you're just going to peel carefully, make sure it's coming off. If some of it's not coming off of this sheet, put it back down, burnish it some more. Oops, there we go. And then I used some silver on this, so I gotta get my silver sheet. Or I was keeping my, my sheets so protected that I wasn't getting them ready here. All right. And now I'm just gonna take this sheet, put it right over, burnish that. And then, tear that, take that right off. Look how beautifully that transfers. Okay, just lovely and so easy, okay? So that's what I did on this acetate window. Let's see if you can guys see that, there we go. All right, and then I also added some up in the corners and then I just sort of took a couple of little butterfly pieces and I sort of figured out, okay, I can put one right there and I can put one right there and then I burnished those and did the same thing so that when you're closing it, you have a little something there. Now, where would you write on this card because you have this big window? I would use this area kind of all the way across here or up here, okay? And yeah, that was a really fun one to do. So it works on acetate, it works on patterned paper very, very easily. Here is another one where my friend Debbie used patterned paper as well on hers. Now, this is the one where she's using the gorgeous, foil that's in the Make-A-Wish one. See, I can, oof, see all of this, here we go. There we go. So you've got this beautiful blue and you've got this lime green. You're getting three of each of these sheets. You're getting this sort of berry pink and you're also getting another color. Are you getting another color? Let's see. Yeah, there's purple in there somewhere. All right, we had to pause for a second because I had to find where the purple was. So here is the purple. And you guys, this was all stuck together and it just felt like one sheet. And then when I got, I went ahead and got it and I had kind of went like this, they are so thin <laughs> that there are three sheets here. So when, when you buy your kit and you're like, wait, I only got one sheet of purple, which is what I thought. No, no, they were just stuck together. They're so clingy, they're like mylar, okay? So you've got your purple, you've got your green, you've got this really beautiful rose color, and you've got this really gorgeous turquoise color. And I just recalled, I don't think I showed you all of the metal, all of the other ones. So you're getting the rose gold, you're getting the gold. It's a really nice, rich gold too. And you're getting the silver. Where's the silver? Okay, you're getting like two shades of gold. One's kind of a, this is kind of a copper color. And this is gold. And then somewhere, here we go, there's the silver. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> they're just oh really clingy, okay? So they're all there, you guys. So, whew, I, got, I was a little nervous there. All right, so let's take a back a look at Debbie's card. So Debbie actually cut her six and a half by five inch card down to five by six to accommodate the background gorgeous paper, this green paper from our six by six Be Happy paper, which is so cute. Okay, so she put the border here and then she used this cute little wreath. And then you guys, she actually took some markers and she colored in the flowers because a lot of these flowers and things are kind of an outline and then she colored them in okay so adorable we love how she did that and then she just added some little jewels these are caribbean or caribbean depending on where you're from um little crystals that she added to her card so cute look at all that Woo. All right, and now here's another one using the same kit that Debbie used. This is five by six and a half inch. And she used 
just so many colors. So she used that gorgeous turquoise here. Look at the butterflies, a little greeting. And then she actually, which I forgot to grab, she used some holographic paper right along the edge. And then she also used some little thin line dazzle stickers. I'll link both of those down below. My bad for not grabbing those. Um, look at how the, the sparkle on this. That's amazing. And then you guys, we've got a whole another one. We've got a fifth card today. It's a slim line, so it's three and a half by five. Once again, she's doing this right on the white card and creating this beautiful background. So taking that green and then just putting sort of one border right here, right on top of another. So she took one here and then she started with another one because you're getting two of these, okay? And then used another piece of it right here. And then you could use the, the rest of it over here. So she's just kind of spreading that one border around. And then the gorgeous flowers with the roses. Look how she took some of it and she rubbed on just the flowers here and then used the pink to color it. And then once that, that was all done, she took the same sheet and then rubbed on the little ro the, um, leaves and did those for green. Isn't that amazing? So you can use different colors on the same image. Gorgeous, gorgeous. You guys, we have a fantastic money saver on this collection. As you can see, it is really easy to use, but I wanted to give you those tips on transferring the pattern so that you didn't get frustrated and, and think that there was something wrong. Just make sure that you're using a nice clean piece of, of foil when you're transferring your larger image and then save the little excess around it for the little tiny butterflies and things like that. Don't forget that, um, oh, I forgot a card. Like, where's our other card? that we have a giveaway card somewhere on my table. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Here's my giveaway card. So definitely participate in that. Check out the money saver that we have on this fantastic foil collection. Debbie and I had a great time using it. Thanks for coming. Thanks for playing with us. And we'll see you in the next one.